This may only be a truck stop, but it also represents something about traveling that I may have to contend with in the future. You see, this was not going to be one of my stops. It seems I miscalculated the delivery time from my mail service, so I had to readjust my itinerary a bit. I had planned to travel to Amarillo, but now I have to bypass that route in order to receive my general delivery mail sooner. It seems the U.S. Post Office has improved their delivery times. So, from the time I was notified when the delivery was expected, I had to abandon my slow crawl south and decided to make several one-night stands, like here at this truck stop. Perhaps it's better to underestimate general delivery mail times, as I would hate to arrive too early at a location with a limited stay policy. But, as you'll see, this decision came at a cost. S.B. Hamblin family pioneered at this site in Dugout to the West State Park Hamblin, 1846-1930, and wife Virginia Ann, 1861-1950, settled in Lakeview area, nine miles south of Claude, in 1889. Hamblin helped establish Lakeview School, 1890. He engaged in farming and stock raising and also dealt in cedar post cutting in Palo Duro Canyon and sold in Amarillo for three cents each. Halls over the old Indian Trail were made by such great efforts that W.H. Hamblin, oldest son who helped his father, longed for good roads and later was designer of Hamblin Drive. Mrs. Hamblin, at home with her children, tended the ranch, courageously protecting family from the prevalent rattlesnakes, ooh, and repulsive, vicious lobo wolves, hmm, that attacked the young cattle. The Hamblins lived in this site known as Mesquite Flat in 1901 to 1902. The father and older sons, W.H. Claude, David, and Claude, put up corrals in a barn, and then built the Rockwald 24 by 36 foot dugout. The tenth child of the family, Luther Ray Hamblin, was born in the Mesquite Flat dugout on March 3, 1902. Moving from this place, the Hamblins sought the best location for educating their children, who in the tradition of their parents became respected citizens of the West. Want to see where that 10% grade ditch left me? This is a very interesting place in Texas. Surrounded by hills all the way around.
Houston, Texas, City Park. And here's where I'm parked for the night. This park has got uh, three electrical outlets all along the uh, tennis court, it looks like, or basketball court. They have uh, 20 amp and they have 30 amp and some of them don't have the 50 amp connector on them. It's like at one corner of this basketball court they've got a uh, water outlet. Uh, looks like it's locked up at the moment. Uh, the Silverton City Park seems to be rather quaint. Of course Silverton appears to be a very quaint little town too. Picnic areas, play areas, the basketball court, and the RV parking way in the back. And road noise. I have a plaque here in front of the plague area. Dated dedicated to the memory of Billy Codell, beloved husband, daddy, and papa. A righteous man leads a blameless life. Blessed are his children after him. There doesn't appear to be any strong TV signals in this area. There appears to be several open Wi-Fi connections, but they lead to a web page that you have to log in. Oh well. I really shouldn't have expected open Wi-Fi in this small town. Well, after that experience, I think I'm going to have a good night's sleep. Nice, quiet town, relatively speaking. But I'm going to need some rest to settle my nerves. But uh, I can understand why this park is here. Anyone else who managed to take the same route I did is going to need a place like this to stop and rest and recover. So if you're anywhere near Silverton, or you're going to drive south out of Claude, Texas, this is, this is a place you're going to have to put on your stop list. And since this place only has electricity and the water is shut off and there's no septic, uh, I made sure that I was uh, fully prepared. My water tanks are full. My gas tank was full when I left. I've got plenty of propane. So I think I'll just set up and just rest. And then head off in the morning to my next location.